You know who this is, as everybody knows? It's going to be a fantastic prime minister, I can tell you. And we're having very, very good meetings. So we're far, we're really good. Yeah. Yeah. We're, going to, we're going to do a fantastic deal once we clear up some of the, the obstacles in our path. We get some fantastic many deals. But there are many different deals, but uh, we're having a good time. As far as UK and the United States, we're working on a very big trade deal, and I think it's going to work out very well. Mr. President, do you have any advice from Boris Johnson on Brexit? He needs no advice. He's the right man for the job. I've been saying that for a long time. Didn't make your predecessor very happy, but I've been saying it for a long time. He's the right man for the job. You're all missing to that. I'm very grateful for that. And we're, we're, we're looking forward to having some, some pretty comprehensive talks about how to take forward the uh, relationship in all sorts of ways particularly on trade, and we're very excited about that. We're having very good trade talk between the UK and so we're going to be a very big trade deal, bigger than we've ever had in the UK, and now they won't have, at some point, they won't have the obstacle, of, they won't have the anchor around their ankle, because that's what they have. So we're going to have some very good trade talks. How fast do you think you'll be able to make a trade deal? Pretty quickly. We don't anticipate any problems. Before we were sort of stymied, well I was stymied by the other side because nothing would, nothing got done on the other side as, you, as you've seen from Brexit. And this is a different uh, person and uh, this is a person that's going to be a great Prime Minister in my opinion. Boris, it's only my opinion. No, look, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to dissent, I'm not going to discourage you from that, Donald, but obviously I have, I have memories of uh, American trade negotiations in the, in the past and I have a formidable respect for U.S. trade negotiations. I know that there will be, there'll be some tough talks ahead, but there's, at the moment, you know, we, we still don't, I think, I don't think we sell a single joint of British land to the United States. We don't sell any pork, we don't sell any pork pies, and there are clearly huge opportunities for uh, the UK to penetrate the American market in the world we currently do. You have second thoughts about escalating the war with China? I have second thoughts about everything. Are you going to declare a national emergency on China? Well, I have the right to. I, want, I, I just want to say I want to congratulate uh, the president on everything that the American economy is achieving. It's fantastic to, to see that. But uh, just to register the faint sheep-like note of uh, our, our view on the, on the trade war, we're in favor of trade peace on, on the whole. Sure. Da, 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 da. In favor of trade peace with China? Yeah, well, we, we think that on the whole, uh, the UK has profited massively in the last 200 years from free trade. And that's what we want to see. So we're, we're keen to see. Prime Minister. We don't like tariffs on Prime uh, Minister, have you? the last three years. <laughs> don't talk about the last three years. <laughs> Prime Minister, have you made, have you made, have you, Prime Minister, have you made clear that uh, in any trade talks with the US, the NHS will be off the table and animal welfare uh, standards will be only, Not only have I made clear that, but Donald, the President, has made that very, very clear as well. So, uh, there's, there's complete unanimity on that. Well, let's speak to our diplomat.